Hi guys, this is Mo Volans for AudioTuts.com and in this premium video we're going to be taking a look at MIDI controllers. Specifically, how to use MIDI controllers with synthesizers and how to use them to manipulate your sounds. Um, as you can see, my studio is currently um, set up for product shots, so try and ignore the huge lighting umbrellas behind me. But um, we're going to be getting into this using a variety of synths um, on screen. And we're going to be looking at uh, ES2 from Logic. We're probably going to be looking at Thor in Reason and maybe some third-party synthesizers as well. I'll try and give you um, a few different examples so that we're not just working on one synth. Uh, and you can see this happening in a few different instruments. Now, before we get into this, I really wanted to explain the difference between um, MIDI controllers and automation, because there's probably a few of you out there that still haven't grasped the difference between them, no matter how experienced you are. If you haven't got a huge amount of experience in real world MIDI um, and you've just learned using SoftSense, um, as a lot of my students have, your understanding of the difference between MIDI controllers and automation might be a little bit blurred. Now, I understand there's going to be a lot of you out there that are thinking, Mo, what are you talking about? I know exactly what the difference is. This is probably because you've either used or been brought up on hardware MIDI synths and you've plugged MIDI synthesizers in like these ones, for example, that I'm showing on screen at the minute. And you've used MIDI in real world, which is what it was originally designed for. And it means routing cables from synthesizer to synthesizer or from a sequencer or computer or interface to a, to a synth. And you'll understand that MIDI is a triggering system. It stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Um, and it really is just a triggering system. So it sends um, digital impulses, digital signals and data to trigger uh, uh, note values, for example, note on and note off, to, to tell the synthesizer when to play and when not to play. And there are actually 127 different MIDI controllers um, that we can send to a synthesizer to tell it what to do. So we've got after touch and modulation and uh, we've got um, channel pressure and velocity and there's all sorts of different things. We've even got something called system exclusive, which can be, go beyond these 127 controllers and control more complex data and actually transmit sounds through MIDI, which only takes about a thousand years if you want to try that. Um, I've done it. I wouldn't advise it. But anyway, we can use MIDI controllers to do all these things, both in an external synth and an internal synth, an internal soft synth. So a lot of soft synths are still geared to understand MIDI. And when you play a note and you're triggering, say, uh, Thor in Reason or the ES2 here in Logic, you are actually using MIDI. Um, and it's been all that's happened is it's been taken internally and it's it's been you know internally implemented within the DAWs to do exactly the same thing as we would do with an external synth okay so that really is um, the the understanding you need to have of MIDI and when we look at MIDI controllers and they're the 127 different controllers I was talking about before you can grab tables of these and um, these are just as valid now in soft synths, a lot of soft synths at least, as they were in external synths. They were, they were the only thing we had to control external synthesizers. So if we wanted to control the, the cutoff of a filter in an external hardware synth, we have to use these. Now you can use either these um, controllers or you can use um, automation. Now I'm going to quickly show you the difference now. Okay, So here we are in the ES2 and Obviously, with most soft synth these soft synths these days, we can just hit right and pretty much move any parameter. Um, so, so if we were to just quickly record a pattern in, uh, and we'll do that now. <laughs> 